you got anything to say, honey? What about you, big guy? What about you, big guy? No? Okay. What's up, my YouTube people? Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. Hope you're having a great day today. As you can see from the title, we've got some new arrivals to the zoo. A bear. He's a good boy. Yeah. And there's Honey. There's Honey. As you can tell, we are back here in the pup's room or the brooder room or baby room. Ready room. Whatever the heck you want to call it. But anyways, you know, we've got some new arrivals to the zoo. My aunt always calls it a zoo, so that's what I'm going with. So, and here they are. There they are. So, let me turn the heat lamp off, because I only use the heat red heat lamp with baby chicks. And my older chicks, I try to use a red heat lamp, depends on what I can with the older, chi older birds, not chicks. But when they're chicks, I always try to use a red heat lamp. It's a whole only seeing red thing, so if one gets hurt, they all don't pick at it. As you can see, they think they're dying of thirst. So, let me hook up another light, shut this heat lamp off right here, and we'll talk about what kind they are. He's a good boy. Okay, I got the heat lamp shut off so you can actually somewhat see what color they are. Now, they will not stay this color, of course. But there are only three different breeds in here. I know it looks like a lot more. And there are four in here that are one week older than the others. Okay, we'll talk about the older ones first. Now let me grab them for you. See, it's, a, it's this one. Now, these ones are all the same breed. The ones I'm showing you right now. Hold on. Lighting's wrong. Here. Move the light. Maybe you can actually see the colors. Try that again. It's this one. this one here and this little black guy and the gray one now these four that I just showed you those are all Aracana Americanas <laughs> I know they have all different colors, I chose them that way, but they are one week older than the littler guys here, only because that's, you know, they didn't have the other ones in stock yet. <coughs> Can't schedule when they hatch, but anyways, they're Aracana Americanas. Now I will show a picture and a little blurb about them when they become adults and what they'll look like. Now these ones are, now all these birds are dual purpose birds, which means they will lay eggs, decently lay eggs, but if we had to, we could eat them. Not quite sure I'd be able to do that, but if we had to, we would be able to eat them. So, the Arcanas that I showed you, lay a greeny blue egg they'll become a large sized bird they can be mean at times sorry the puppies distracted me they're, they've got excellent cold tolerance so when we get to drop down into those really cold temperatures they, they can handle it well and you don't have to worry about them too much 
You still gotta worry about them, but you don't have to worry about them as much. So as you can see, they're all down here eating and drinking. So that's what those four birds are. Now, Aracanas, Americanas can be kind of mean at times. I've got one that when I first got her, she kind of attacked me. She still does every once in a while. That's why it's called Angry Bird. If you've seen my earlier videos, you'll know what chicken that is. So let's move on to the next ones. I'm just going to grab one of them. I'm not going to show you all three. If they'll let me. Okay, here's this one. He's got an orangey tint right now, but he will grow up to have a chestnut red color to him. He's about only a couple days old. Yeah, no, no pin feathers on his, on his wings yet. So he's close to a couple days old. Because as soon as they're, they're dry, they ship. But anyways, those ones are called New Hampshire Reds. They are bred for their early maturity. So if you want a good meat bird, you want New Hampshire Reds because they will feather out quickly. But they're also good egg layers. They are going to lay an extra large brown egg. And they're, they will be, the bigger are the birds, because, you know, they fill out rapidly. They're going to be in extra large birds, to where the Araucanas are only a large size bird. And again, they are excellent uh, cold tolerance, to where you don't have to worry about them too much when you, your temperatures drop too low. So I got three of those, four Aracanas, and the last two are these lighter colored guys right here. He's been eating and drinking. You can see he's a lighter color, kind of a pale yellow right now. He is going to be a bright white color. Yes, I said he, I meant she. I only buy pullets. Pullets are only girls. If you get straight run, you never know if all your chicks are going to be boys or not. Like 50% of them could be boys. And I don't want roosters. I only want chicks for their eggs and whatnot. So that's why I only get pullets. But anyways, when this little booger right here grows up, it'll be bright white. They are pearl white leghorns. <laughs> Again, they are a good dual purpose bird. Um, they are considered one of the best chickens to lay white eggs. Um, they can be a little grumpy once in a while, but none of these birds are very broody, which means they always want to sit on eggs, so that's a good thing. And of course, they are cold tolerant, excellent cold tolerance to them. Yeah. Now, if you have any questions on chickens or ducks or, or anything like that, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you with, as soon as I can about it. I'm somewhat savvy on chicks now. But yeah, so that's the three new kinds of baby chicks that are here at the new zoo. So that's Aracanas, which are the bigger birds, they're towards the back right there, and one right there. The lighter colors are pearl white leghorns, like that one right there. There's only two of those. And then the orangey colored ones right there, that just got pushed around, right there. Those three, I have three of them, are New Hampshire Reds. Now, again, I will leave a picture up of each one. 
on what they'll look like when they get older. And in a second, it's my phone. And a little bit, a little bit about what I just talked about with them. Now I do have automatic feeders and waterers. See that would be the waterer right there. This is the feeder. I do have a top to it just like that one. It's just when they're small like this, I leave it off. Because, you know, they don't eat very much right now. As you can see, it needs to be dumped out and refilled. But since they're getting bigger now, and I have so many of them, that I'm going to snap on, fill the bottle and snap on the bottle just like that one, but on that one. Now, it's the easier way to go, especially when they're this small. So that way when you leave, they don't run out of water. That's the biggest thing right now is they, they need water. They can dehydrate easily under the heat lamp. Now I don't have the heat lamp very close right now because I like to wait towards when everything starts to warm up a bit more to get my chicks so I don't have to worry about them freezing or getting too cold because we had a cold snap. Now the last two times I've had baby chicks, the power's gone out. So I had to figure out how to keep them warm. Now I did a little jimmy rig with some candles in the little brooder box here. And it seemed to work then. But yeah, so... Yeah, see little birdie? Had to do that on camera. But anyways, and I just use a tote at first. And when they get bigger, I will transfer them to a guinea pig, pa guinea pig cage or a bigger rabbit cage and then once they start to feather out more they don't have that little fluffy down I will start taking them outside as long as it doesn't get too cold because if they get too cold then you just lost your bird but yeah I do have a heat lamp and I'll show you the bag of feed real quick in case you're curious on what kind of feed I use behind me Now this isn't the normal bag I use, but this is the only bag they had at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the most important part is medicated. A lot of people will tell you, no, it's not important, it's not, you know. But in my opinion, and uh, what I've, you know, how I've raised my chicks, I've always got the medicated version. You'll have to look for that big and bold. <clears throat> Excuse me. Big and bold on the bag. Now you always want to start them out with crumbles because the pellets are just too big. Even my big birds, I stay with pellet. I don't do pellets. I stay with crumbles with my big birds because during the summer, it's a lot of energy for them to digest the pellet. It's easier for them to digest a crumble than a pellet. So I'm not a big fan of the pellet version of the feed. I know some people are, I'm not, that's just my opinion. From the, the research I've done, it's better to go with a crumble. But this one is by Purina. You know, you want to try and go with the brand you know. Now, again, the most important, important part is that right there, that the bag says medicated. Now you can get this feed at Walmart now. Yeah, Walmart started carrying a lot of chicken stuff. And you can get the medicated chick feed there. You can get a lot of chick supplies at Walmart now. So it's not that hard to raise them. I hope you can hear the parakeet. He's just talking away over here. Yeah. Somehow the parakeet got out earlier and she was in here playing with the chicks. Now these chicks are bigger than the parakeet. So it was kind of funny. I had to grab her and pull her out. But anyway, so that is the new arrivals to the zoo. I hope you'll stick around and watch them grow. All tuckered out, wanting to fall asleep. So yeah. So I'm going to 
dump that out, put some new feed in it. Now, eventually I will have to put a top over this so they don't jump out, but pretty soon they're gonna be switching to another cage anyways. Everybody wants to fall asleep. Shall I start talking again? But so far, they're all getting along. The biggest trouble is going to be when I introduce them to the bigger birds outside. Because a lot of people say, just put them inside the, the house, the chicken house, at night. And they'll all be like, oh, look, when did you get here? And not bother with each other in the morning. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. I've had a lot of trouble doing it that way. So I just put them in a dog separate cage, like a dog cage, a large dog cage. And let them see each other through the bars for quite some time. And then eventually I just open the door and let everybody out together and stand there and watch to make sure nothing bad's going to happen. Especially with Angry Bird. Because Angry Bird, his namesake is Angry Bird for a reason. And then I'm going to have to separate my ducks pretty soon. Because it's getting springtime and they'll try and make a chuck. And they can seriously hurt a chicken standing on the back of them, which they have before. So anyways, that is the newest bunch to the zoo. Hope you'll come back and see how they're doing. So far, so good. And I hope you have a great Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. I am filming this on Friday. This will come out Tuesday. So Easter will have already passed, but still. Happy Easter to everybody. Here's my new arrivals to the zoo. There's little honey. You got anything to say, honey? What about you, big guy? What about you, big guy? No? Okay. So thanks for watching Just What I Do Today. Please hit that like button if you like this video. Seriously, hit the like button, people. I think y'all are forgetting that part. Uh, leave a comment down below. I love reading all the comments and answering every single one of them. And if you have questions about chicks or chickens or anything like that, I will answer your questions as quickly as I can. So again, thanks for watching Just What I Do. Please subscribe, ring that notification bell to get notified every time I post. I post twice a week. You know, if I, if I get enough, I might do a live chat one of these days. Now, I don't know if I'll be in front of the camera when I go to do the live chat. I may, like, face it towards the pups or the chicks here. Because I'm not too fond of being in front of the camera. That's why I'm always behind the camera. So. Lost my train of thought there. We'll just, you know. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Have a great day.